Nationale here with Steven Anderson, two-time captain of Army. They wanted to finish his career in 2010, our Forces Bowl champions, but is now here at Lincoln Financial Field, Army battling for the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Game you had to be at today, right, Steve? Yeah, I had to. Uh, flew in from uh, Georgia, Fort Benning, Georgia, uh, last night, and uh, I knew if there was any chance I could be here today, I'd make it happen. And I'm, I'm ready to see some history be made. How um, you, you follow the team a little bit while you're in training. Um, the Air Force game was a big win for them. This means uh, this everything's on the line here today, right? T talk to me a little bit about as well, a former player what this. Game well, means to you. I, um, I just think that you know, you know this game right here can kind of you know kind of just define this team. You know, we we had a we had a certain thing about our team that we wanted to be remembered at a certain way. And this can be a team that, you know, has had a really rough season, but some a good win against the Air Force. And they can kind of define themselves today with a win over Navy and kind of bring that CIC back to Army and kind of go with what we talked about, how we always were like, you know, bringing it back, bringing it back. Well, you know, we brought it back a little bit, and this can kind of really let us wrap our arms around it as fans as a, and as a team and as a coaching staff to kind of say, all right, we've got a bowl game, we've got the CIC, Let's put them together in the years to come. And you know what, Army's going to be back to being the dominant service academy. That's what it's all about, right? It's bragging rights, just being the dominant service academy. Yeah, I mean, I still, I still, you know, I still talk to my guys I played against against Navy, guys I played against Air Force, and you know, they can always, you know, no matter how many zings I can get them at, they can always get that better zing because, you know, I never got that win. So uh, I'm so happy for these guys, the opportunity they got today, and, um, you know, I hope that they know that this is a, a very, precious moment that they're going to hold on to the rest of their life, being these seniors' last, uh, last college football game. I'm here with Mike McElrath, a 1993 West Point grad, and he's the all-time lead tackler at Army. Mike, what does this mean, this game mean, to have the commander of the trophy on the line? You're still involved at West Point. What does this mean to the coach and players and to the guys on the team? No, first of all, I guess this is America's game. This is so much more than you know, what this represents. The players on the field and who they're playing for, not only the core cadets, but the rest of the military that serve with the nation right now, especially those men for the And the stakes are high. Enough. We haven't played for the commander in chief trophy since like 2005. Yep. Uh, the last time we brought it back to West Point was in 96. So this is a big deal. I mean, this is always a big game, but the stakes have been raised today. What would it mean to have that trophy back at West Point? I think it would mean an awful lot, obviously, to these players, especially the senior class. They've had the ups and downs over the course of their four years, but they keep battling back. Uh, you know, and they have so much confidence. To be able to play the way we did against our other service academy rival Air Force up at West Point a few weeks ago, we played a great Army football game for four quarters. And I mean, that's the type of attitude and mentality you need to come out with today. And this is a 60 minute game. There's going to be a lot of twists and turns, momentum's going to shift, but you just got to continue to press on and fight through that adversity and find a way to get it done. Navy running plays, 
and, and get to that freshman quarterback, Keenan Reynolds. Don't let him get in open space. If you're in trouble, Keenan Reynolds gets in open space. Absolutely. The, the biggest question today is if they can play defense the way they play defense against Air Force and the way they play defense against a couple other teams on their schedule. And they have so many games where they didn't play good defense. Talking to him, that's the way he believes today's game is going to be. It's either going to be a game where he wins and he'll have a lot of memories, positive memories from West Point, or it's going to be a huge void in his career if he loses this game. We bumped into Trent's two brothers and sister at a tailgate about an hour earlier. They're emotionally invested in this game. You can see this is not for Trent. This is for his family. This is for his fans down in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And this is for the, uh, the soldiers overseas, the teammates that he knows too. This is huge. Let's see, let's see what Army can get done today. You know, the other part, Sal, is it's not only a big game for Trent and the rest of the players, but it's a big game for Rich Ellerson. You know, I think he really needs to win this game. Not to save his job, but he needs to win this game to prove that this, this program is on the turnaround. It's on the up and up.